Hi folks and welcome back to another update on Annie's diary. Um, today we've had a delivery. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Well it feels like Christmas, so let's get these opened. Right, I've already opened this one because I know what this is. And in here, we have a gasket. And to go with the gasket, we have a rebuild kit. Now this is a rebuild kit for the, the clutch master cylinder. And that, it is leaking from it somewhere. So the plan is, is to rebuild it. Um, so that will be our first job today, we'll get that off the car, get it into the bench here, strip it down and have a look at it. Second delivery is from Mini Spares. Uh, now this was um, ordered just a couple of days ago and it's came, it's came really quickly. So let's um, crack this open and um, have a look inside. This is the clutch master cylinder for Annie. So there we go. Um, <clears throat> because I've renewed the brakes on the car, front and rear, it's got new cylinders, calipers, seals, you name it. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to renew the, the clutch master, uh, the brake master cylinder as well. Um, the car is 30 years old, and that master cylinder's probably never ever been changed. So, because I've refreshed the brakes, it would be rude not to um, do this. Plus, this is a safety um, critical part of the car, so your brakes do really need to be spot on. So. Um, We'll get that fitted in a later video, but today we'll concentrate on the clutch master cylinder. So what we'll do now is we'll jump out to the car and um, start stripping it down. Right, just to make things easy, I'm going to start off by taking out the, the two front seats of the car. Um, that'll give me more room for lying underneath um, inside the car to um, disconnect the clutch. Um, clevis pin because that is an absolute nightmare if anybody's done that job before you'll know exactly what I'm talking about so first things first we'll get the seats out right I've got the front seats out now and um, moved the heater, heater box into the passenger footwell um, there is a slight leak coming from it now um, it's not coming from the hoses so um, I'll need to check the the matrix inside it that could be rotten and then um, if disturbing it it's um, maybe punctured it um, but it's just a very small drip so I've got some tissues down just to absorb the, the coolant um, it needs a coolant flush anyway so it's um, an ideal opportunity for that so now um, I'm ready to get the clevis pin out and um, that's going to be an absolute nightmare Anybody that's ever done clevis pins on the clutches will know what I'm talking about. Having to strip all this down just to get into it. Absolute nightmare. So, the pin is located. If I can get you in. Right up behind that spring. Absolute nightmare. Um, I won't be able to film it because there's literally no room. So what I'll do is I'll just um, get my long nose pliers and try and pull it out. I think I've straightened the legs on the clevis pin out, so hopefully it'll come out no problem at all. Right, here's uh, the clevis pin here, um, and it's confirmed my suspicions about the about the brake fluid leaking, because that is quite wet. And um, here's uh, the split pin here. 
I used um, long needle nose pliers. Um, this one's got a slight bend on it. I tried two or three different types and um, found that this one got in at the right angle and um, pulled it out. Uh, also my uh, long screwdriver um, that helped to spin the, the clevis pin round so that I could get a grip on it. So now all that's disconnected um, we can um, work on the underside of the bonnet and get the get the cylinder out all together. Right, I'm under the bonnet now and um, this is what I'm going to be overhauling. So before I take it out I've got a syringe here. I'm going to suck out all the, the brake fluid that's in it and um, that should hopefully make it less messy when I put it on the bench. Right, look at the colour of that, that is absolutely black and that was fresh brake fluid that was in it um, just the other week there. So there's obviously something going on there with the seals um, for that to be discoloured like that. So um, yeah, let's get the rest of it out. Right, with a bit of luck that should come out now, I've already taken the nut out at the back, had to use my little um, dumpy screwdriver, uh, dumpy spanner on it, um, brilliant, brilliant little tools in. So that should be it free now to come out. Let's get this on the bench and um, get a better look at it. Right, we're now on the bench and you can see that's in uh, quite a state. Very wet down here um, in the bottom of the piston and there's still a little bit of fluid left in it that I didn't get out. So we'll just see what colour this is. Now what came out in this syringe was absolutely black. That's black. So there's obviously um, a breakdown inside it somewhere. So what I'll do now is I'll get that cleaned up and then we'll strip it apart. Right, that's it had a, a little clean up. Nothing special because it's only a clutch master cylinder. There's a few dents in it, dings in it. Um, but yeah, that will certainly do the job, that's for sure. Um, so, let's um, let's start getting this stripped apart. Now I'll need to remember the order that it, it goes in. Right, we've got the rubber boot there, and that is very wet, look at that. So you can clearly see that that's been leaking. That's brake fluid. Yeah. That is absolutely saturated down there. So I'll get this off. Now there's a little circle up here. So that will need to come out. Right, I've just sat that in the vise. I'm not gripping it with the vise, obviously. But just uh, sitting it in there so that it should hopefully make it easier to get this circle up removed.
Oh, that's it. Removed and it didn't go ping. Right, let's lay this out on the bench. Right, that's me got the the old internals out. So what I'll do now is I'll transfer the new parts um, or put the new parts together and use the old parts as a as a guide. You also get a handy little set of instructions for stupid people like myself. So, um, that's a new spring. I've already put the a little collar on it there. Um, you get a little, it's like a little shim. So I'll stick that on. And then looking at that, the rubber seal sits in there. A seal for the plunger. And that's fine. And we've got this seal. Right, that'll go that way by the looks of it. I'll just get some brake fluid and um, give that a smear. That'll help it slide on without it tearing. Right, if I give that a little smear. And that. Right, that goes in that way. that one a little clean uh, same cleaned and brake fluid so that'll go like that and really that's it it's just a matter of transferring this into the bore what I'll do is I'll give that a further little clean off camera and then we'll put it all back together. Right, that's all um, cleaned out now and um, ready to be reassembled. So what I'll do is I'll just put some, some more brake fluid on these rubber seals and we'll reassemble it. So I'll pop the spring in, I think that's how it went. Now getting the circle the circle and it'll probably be a pain in the back side. Trying to hold that down and put that in at the same time. And where's my other circle clip tool? Over there, typical. Right, that's that circle clip snapped into position. Right, so that went in relatively easy. Right. Now we um, get this refitted back onto the car. But before I do that, I'll need to clean up the area around about it. And I do have a new gasket for it as well. So I'll go and do that off camera. We'll get that cleaned up, ready to go back in. Right, that's everything back together now. 
the clutch master cylinders in. It's, um, I've cleaned up all round about it and it's bled. So it's working and it's topped up. So hopefully that's um, that little problem sorted. But with doing um, fixing one problem, another one develops. The problem that's developed in here is the heater heater box started leaking. So that's currently in the garage. It's on the bench, and I'll um, get that stripped down and have a look at it. And if need be, I'll order another. Um, heater matrix for it. I've got a couple of spare matrixes um, in the house but they're the wrong type. It's for the older type, the older car. So um, yeah, might have to buy another heater matrix but hey ho. The good news is it's just another step closer to being back on the road. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks um, I'll get an MOT on this and I'll be able to start enjoying it again. Well folks, I think I'll wrap that up here um, for today. As you can see, I've got the heater motor um, in the garage. So what I'll do is um, I'll have a look, strip that down, have a look, and um, see if there's anything obvious. Um, and if I can, maybe pressure test the, the heater matrix um, to see if there's any leaks. So anyway, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And um, please remember to like and um, subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification icon. That way you'll get notified as soon as I upload new content. Anyway, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.